What's up everyone, Jason A. Strain 69 back once again with another diecast review. Tonight we'll be taking a look at these five Racing Champion 164 scale NASCAR Super Truck Series by Craftsman Classic 1995 Premier Edition trucks. I'll go over all of them in pretty good detail and individually and show you the back of the cards and all that stuff. So figured we'd uh, take a closer look at what the truck series had back in 1995 for die cast from racing champions go ahead and get the camera set up down to the turntable we'll start off on my right with none other than tj clark here is the packaging of course with racing champions you get a trading card in the back got a little display stand with the truck on it packaging 164 scale die cast truck replica die cast body and chassis with deluxe wheels there's your nascar super truck series by craftsman logo adult collectible racing champions 1995 premier edition figured i'd open these up because none of the cards are mint and some of them are yellowing from age back of the card features the 1995 nascar super truck series by craftsman television schedule So there's your schedule along with the dates and TV channel that they were aired on. So that is the first truck or packaging. Go ahead and open it up and take a closer look at the truck itself and the stuff it comes with. All right, here we go. Here is the trading card and the collector uh, stand it comes on. Back of it features his home, Las Vegas, Nevada, born February 25th, 1962, and simulated signature. Go and just post that on the uh, turntable there. Take a closer look at the truck itself. It's a really good truck. You can tell this was uh, sitting on the base for a while because it was sticking to the base. Start off on the front here, we have 23 F-150 ASC certified Ford on the hood. Craftsman up on the window banner. TJ Clark on the roof rail, number 23, of course, on the roof. 76 Goodyear. Of course, we've got Champion, Gatorade, DuPont. Pedal Light Trailer, Super Truck Series by Craftsman. Venivisor, Simpson, Felpro, Plastic all on the contingencies does have all of them do have uh, gray plastic interiors of course got the number 23 mtx american racing custom wheels there ford on the b post on the bed we have ase certified mtx serious about sound of course certified ase valvoline and ppg on the quarter panel got some problems with the paint but that could be just from aging Back on the tailgate, we have MTX, Team SE, Serious About Sound Ford, and the number 23. Right side is basically the same as the left side. There's your interior. Bottom, fully uh, die cast, rubber tires. Really nice. Got the Racing Champions logo down there with copyright date of, of course, 1995. So that is the 164 scale TJ Clark Ford F-150. Go ahead and take a closer look at the next one, which is Jeff Bodine's 1995 XI Batteries Ford. Go ahead and crack it open. Again, here is your display stand with Jeff Bodine's uh, trading card on it with the Super Truck Series by Craftsman logo. Back of it featuring hometown Julian, North Carolina, born April 18th, 1949, and his simulated signature. Move that to the side. Take a close look at the XI Batteries Ford. Got XI Batteries on the hood. Ford, number seven. Got Ford emblem on the grill, but nothing, no printing. Do have F-150, of course you can see by age, the blue paint is cracking on this one. Craftsman up on the windshield, 
Jeff Bodine and the seven on the roof. Goodyear 76, Super Truck Series by Craftsman, Fed Light, Champion, Gatorade, Plastic DuPont Simpson, Fell Pro, Race Scan, Ford, and the number seven on the door, X Side, Mac Tools on the side, nothing on the bed. Back here on the tailgate, we have Napa Auto Parts, number seven, and Ford. And then the uh, right side has a little, I don't know, paint chip or paint, black uh, paint chip and splatter there. Overall, it's a great looking truck. There's the bottom, no difference on these. All right, move along to Mike Skinner's 1995 Good Wrench Service Plus Chevrolet. As you can see, this one definitely needs to be open. Let it breathe, it's in yellowing, so let's crack it open. All right, here is the display stand. Trading card with picture of Mike Skinner, his simulated signature. Back of it, home, Susanville, California, born June 28th, 1957, and his simulated signature. Take a closer look at this awesome Goodwrench Chevy. Got the number three Chevrolet, the awesome Chevrolet uh, front bumper on there. GM Goodwrench Service, Chevrolet Bowtie, Craftsman up on the windshield banner. Goodyear, Plastgate 76, Super Truck Series presented by Craftsman, Fellite, Bilstein Shocks, Dressel, Gatorade, Simpson, all of your contingencies. Number three and Mike Skinner up on the roof and door, AC on the B post, snap on, B in front of the rear wheels, good wrench service, and resistal hats on the quarter panel. Of course, got good wrench service and Chevrolet bow tie on the bed, good wrench service. Chevy in the number three on the tailgate. Right side of the truck, basically the same as the left side, no major differences. And there's your bottom of the truck. So that was the uh, Mike Skinner Good Wrench. Now we will move along to Sammy Swindell's Channel Lock Ford. It's a great looking truck. Let's go ahead and pop it open. All right, here we go. Here's your display stand, same as the mall. Sammy Swindell's trading card. Nice picture of Sammy there in his simulated signature. Back of it, home, Cordova, Tennessee, born October 26, 1955, and simulated signature. Move ahead and take a closer look at the truck. Once again, this is a really good looking truck. Got the number 38 and Ford embossed uh, front emblem, F-150, channel lock Ford on the hood. Craftsman on the windshield banner, Sammy Swindell, 38 on the roof. 76 Goodyear Super Truck Series presented by Craftsman, Gatorade, Fellow Pro, Simpson, DuPont, Plastic, Fellight Trailers, and Champion for your contingencies on the door. There's 38 Carrera Motorcraft Batteries, Aikens Ford, Channel Lock all on the quarter panel there. Got Channel Lock on the bed, got a red spoiler. Back on the tailgate, we got Channel Lock number 30 and the Crooked 4. Right side of the truck, basically the same. And there's your bottom. Not too many differences with any of these trucks on the chassis, as I'm uh, pretty confident there wasn't. And finally, we'll finish it off with Rick Corelli's 1995 total number six Chevrolet. Go ahead and crack it open. Let it breathe. It's been a while since it's been out of package. And here is the base. As you can see, these have been sitting on the bases for quite some time to the point where they're sticking. There's your picture of Rick Corelli, his simulated signature. Back home, Denver, Colorado, born on November 9th, 1954, and his simulated signature. Take a close look at the Chevy here. Got the awesome Chevrolet front bumper, number six Chevrolet, total Chevrolet bow tie on the hood. Craftsman on the front windshield banner, Die Hard 76 Fuel, Goodyear, Super Truck Series by Craftsman, Champion Fellite Tools, or Fellite Trailers, excuse me, Plastgate, Phil Pro, Gatorade, DuPont Simpson for your contingencies. Number six, an AC. Got 
some sponsorship there on the B post six and uh, Rick Corelli on the roof. Total Pepsi Lund on the uh, quarter panel. Vomella Chest Brown Automotive Group on the bed. Back here on the tailgate, we've got the total Chevy Bowtie Chevy number six. A couple uh, different total logos there. Right side of the truck is exactly the same as the left side, no major differences. Bottom is the same. So yeah, that is my look at this awesome 1995 Premier Edition Racing Champions Super Trucks presented by Craftsman in 164 scale. If you enjoyed this review, get a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews multiple days a week, so be sure to subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but I'd appreciate it. Be sure to click the bell so you don't miss out on any future reviews. I'm also on social media, which you can follow me if you want to. You can find me and follow me absolutely everywhere at JasonAStrain69. So thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video, and tune in next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.